Welcome everyone to Starship Troopers Extermination. This game launched a little bit earlier this month into 1.0 and today we're jumping into it for the very first time. I never actually got to play it during its early access period, but I was provided a key for full launch. So today let's uh, jump into it, see how it is, and then take it from there. I am going to go through the tutorial since I never did this. So we'll see how this is. As always too, if you guys end up enjoying this, leaving likes help a Fun, and the more likes we get, the more episodes I will continue to put out. Base building training. So as far as I know, this game is pretty much a 16 player co-op style game. I don't know if it's just like you're protecting the base or if you're going out and doing missions. Combination of both, but we'll see. Equip the uh, build tool and build the base. Select a squad. Let's go, I don't know, uh, Ifrit, that actually sounds kind of cool. I love Ifrit from uh, Final Fantasy, kind of weapons we got here. So these are all different classes, heavy armor and siege mode, explosive expert, high intensity speed training, might go with this. Uh, that loadout for survivalist and boost jet. Yeah, let's do this. Okay. We're in. Oh, man. The sensitivity is very high. Holy. <laughs> I, I, yeah, this is one of those games where it doesn't let you choose all your settings before you launch it. So I'm going to do that now. Bump the audio down a bit. Push to talk is enabled. Good. Love that by default. Okay, let's see. Everything's at pretty much high settings right now. Let's turn V-Sync on. Also in borderless. Good, good. All right, here's the sensitivity. Anything else? I think we're good there. Okay. Might be a little bit too slow, but that's... Um, all right. Let me bump it up just a tiny amount. Yeah, it went down to zero. Let's go like 10%. 10% is a little high. Five. All right, five is good. Yeah, that's perfect. Build the mobile HQ. Okay, so B to build. So you build like structures. Or repair the structure, okay. Multiple troopers can repair at the same time. There it is, mobile HQ the online. Mobile HQ is now online. This structure is the drop off point for or this is a necessity for building more structures. Bring ore now to the, the ore oh man, what the? Been. I did not realize now it had all this. All right, so build a refinery now. Refinery to begin extracting ore. Activate the refinery. What do we need to use this thing? Switch mode. Aha. Activate. There it is. Refinery activated. Select canister. 22 seconds. Okay. I didn't realize that there was like a resource part to this. I thought it was literally just like go in and kill enemies and all that. Or defend it, I don't know, play an objective. We'll see how this is though. Now resources ready. It's stuck on the refinery. Okay, so we collect this. Return to the mobile HQ with the ore canister. Bring it back to the mobile and HQ. Drop it off at the dock on the mobile HQ. Taking it back. Pause it. Yeah, 
Okay. Build one wall. Uh, how do we... Okay, E. Build a wall this way. Boom. Repair mode. Okay, so you place the structure down, and then you actually go to build it. I see. And then unbuild. Right click. You will now build our first structure. Pull out your build tool and make sure it is in build mode. Now place an ammo crate. Scroll to navigate to the ammo crate and click to place it down. Now follow the mission objectives to finish the rest of the base. Build the wall. How many, how many do we need to build? Go ahead and repair this. Now I know this is gonna sound a little blasphemous, but I still have never seen Starship Troopers the movie. And I know, I know, I need to. I should. It's just every time I've gone to go sit down and actually watch it, I get distracted by something else or I end up watching something else. But it's been on my to-do list for like such a long time now. I've seen so many clips and like moments of the movie, but I just haven't seen it in it in its entirety. Build the small gate. Okay, so we built this one. Build a tower. A lot of building here. Build the tower right there. Like right here. Oh, okay. Whoops. I'll unbuild the other structure. Yeah, unbuild this one. Build the bunker. It's satisfying watching this stuff get put together. Well done, Trooper. This concludes the VR module on base construction. Please enter the simulated dropship to end the simulation. Okay. Run to a drop strip, uh, drop ship to extract. You cannot respawn during extraction. Don't die. Get me out of here. Vulture one, ready for extraction. Hang on, troopers. We're leaving. Extraction complete. Oh, that's where we get we get moved around inside there. Victory. Okay. Got the job done. Is it going to give us another uh, tutorial or is that kind of weird? Okay, so that's just the building tutorial. I see. So yeah, main mission, solo play tutorial. Follow Rico's orders to victory. Special operations group. SOG. Turn these greenies into fighting forces capable of any mission until I find someone better. Huh. We could do the solo play tutorial. Let's try it, I guess. Oh, there's a few missions to it, I guess. Balaka mission number one, exterminate warrior infestation. Are these supposed to play? I couldn't hear. <laughs> Guardian demolisher ranger. Oh. Oh, so I get to actually choose my loadout here. Ranger and Medic. 
So we go load out one. Change class. We have Guardian, Demolisher, Sniper, Ranger, Engineer. Man, the music is getting like super loud all of a sudden. And Medic. Honestly, I like going Medic a lot of times in games, so I'm gonna go Medic here. First aid darts them. I guess that's kind of the only weapon we can choose at the moment. Peacemaker, utility, or first aid stim. Any perks? No perks available. Okay. Grenades. That's all we can use. Customize. Okay, so there are some cosmetics and stuff. There's decals, different color combinations. Can we change what this guy is? We'll have two medics. All right, let's try it. Maybe we'll just go through one of the solo tutorial because this is still the tutorial. This is just actually running a mission, I guess. And then maybe after, I'll go into an online one. Medics can keep wounded troopers alive one. for longer and revive allies Squad quickly. Leader. Activate the ability to deploy Squad a medical leader. unit. Payload is on the ground. Vulture One is returning to the girth. Secure the Malacca Caves. Terminate Warriors. Okay, so that drops it right there. I see. Feels pretty good. Cover me. Reloading. This style of mission kind of reminds me a little bit more of like the Aliens Fireteam Elite game, which I, I've always wanted to go back to. I actually really ended up enjoying that. It's like the third person. You choose a class. You uh, match make with two or three. I think it's like three or four other people, and then you just run a mission together I had a lot of fun with that one I think they ended up adding like a bunch of classes over time too got 36 percent taken care of so far oh god Watch each other's backs and let's show let's what we're made of. Go copy that. Grab some ammo. Do we have like the building tool inside of here too? Oh man. Oh god. They seem a little bit all over the place, the enemies, at least. Uh, did we lose somebody? Jensen is all the way back there. Oh, God. Says we got 100% of them. But they're still here. Victory. Okay. <laughs> that was interesting. Wait, so is that... Is this solo tutorial saying that there's 20 missions? So 
because that they work on that last mission personally i've seen enough deserts new update from hq fresh value deposits have been located on agni prime so get in the stink and secure that location okay all right let's go into the main missions i see how that works i kind of get it we got primary oh quick play oh these change Let's go into an easy one starting out. Just to see what it's like, I guess. <laughs> and then we'll see what happens from there. Company. So there's different like clans you can join. What is the uh the push to talk you buy? Let's see. I think we're queuing up right now. Yep, we're matchmaking. Estimated total uh, time, 1 minute 30 seconds. Local voice chat, why? Okay, I see. Let me try. I'm going to rebind that. Nice. I've been using my mouse that has the 12 keybind, my MMO mouse, as my primary mouse lately. So I'm trying to see if I can adapt to using that for like all versions of games, including FPSs. But we'll see. I mean, it's been working out so far. Aside from that, I usually have a glorious uh, model. I think it's model I, model O. But that only has three buttons on the side. We are the threat. Armed to the teeth and suited up. The deep go. space vanguard land on Agni Prime to get back its vast riches of vile gas and mineral ore. Advance and secure. All right, I guess we're joining Ifrit. Well done, I'll go medic. Proceed on to your next target after rearming. Fire out. Whoa. Yeah, the UI is a little all over the place. Exterminate arachnids. If I see enemy, I shoot. That's kind of where I'm at right now. I don't even know how to detect if people are down or not. Oh god. Now, no pun intended here, but the game does seem like it has a little bit of bugginess to it. Like it's not a hundred percent a polished game but i totally see it being like a solid like fun time area is secure i say again area is secure rearm before you proceed to your next objective territory two controlled hostile patrol is no this kind of reminds me a little bit of um there was another game that i played a while ago but it was a PvP style game. Vulture one is RTB. Payload is on the deck. Planet I I want to say Planet Side. It reminds me of Planet Side 2. But instead it's a co-op shooter. The world looks pretty cool though. Like that looks awesome up there. They got jump packed. I don't have any of that. 
Be advised, sensors indicate arachnid threat levels have risen. Lead signal booster has been I wonder if there's friendly fire at all, too. Okay, so we got to defend this beacon here. Territory 3 liberated. Oh my god. I have no idea what I'm looking at. I'm just seeing moving enemies and I'm shooting. <laughs> Okay, so it actually tells you where you need to go to place the uh, the things. I see. So we need to go build a mobile HQ over there. Multiple troopers can repair at the same time. We are reading that the mobile headquarters is online and operating at full capacity. Stand by to receive the arc. Load arc the inbound. Vulture, on the way. Clear the drop zone. Clock is ticking, Grimstone One. Let's get the base up and prepare for incoming. May help build this. Vulture one is RTP. Payload is on the deck. Okay. I like the uh, the building stuff. That's kind of cool. I guess people are placing these down. It kind of reminds me of like building the fortifications in like Battlefield 5. Whatever. Wow, this actually feels like a pretty cool base. Damn, we set this up quick. It reminds me of like when you go around and you place down all the uh, materials, sandbags, all that cool stuff. Yeah, this is cool. Arc activation beginning in 30 seconds. The building there it goes troopers 10 seconds until the arc activate 10 seconds until the horde oh boy arc has been fired data from the seismic pulse looks good expect a horde inbound to your location ETA now ETA now Oh, so you have to replace the turrets if they run out of ammo. Interesting. Oh, that's kind of cool.
<laughs> it's so cool that we just built all of this within like a few minutes. I mean, they're wiping out the enemies before I can even fire my gun. Thirty percent. Oh, that's a big boy right there. No, don't go there. Cancel thing. Let's see if I can load this guy up. Got you, brother. We're on that century. Fifty percent. Hey, somebody fell off. I mean, they're still using this turret. Reload this. Try using one of these turrets. Oh my god. <laughs> What's that guy doing running? That was the guy that was on this turret at first. Oh, you can zoom in on it. Okay. Two percent. The arc has completed its data. Objective complete. All troopers on the ground, prepare to extract. Drop ship inbound. All right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did I just fall out? Oh, jeez. I just fell out. Oh, no. It looks a little crowded down there. Vulture 1 is inbound for extraction. How do I get in? Oh, no. Oh. Final signs. Oh. I'm running. Go, go, go. Oh, my frame rates <laughs> dropping like crazy. Prepare for takeoff. Sixteen. Oh, oh, am I inside some? Yeah, 
This is so chaotic right now. Oh my God. Oh no! Oh! Oh my god. Traction complete. We made it. There it is. Oh my god, that was all over the place. Holy. Achieve victory on easy difficulty bad suggested companies boom so how does it work now does it pull us into another mission or throw us back into the main guess we'll see so we hit rank three okay yeah throws us back into the main menu Let's see. Uh, so we unlocked the first aid stim fabricator. Heal beacon. Utility ch satchel. Okay. The max level is like 15, it looks like. But now we have this, this thing. Before we had the stim, then there's a stim dart. First aid stim fabricator. Portable device that grants single use first aid stim in the field. Using a stim can heal self, heal a trooper, or instantly revive a fallen hero. Fallen trooper. Okay. Yeah, I'll bring this one. I guess we can only bring one utility right now. At level 5, we get a perk. Is that level 90? It says 90, but I'm guessing that's level 90. All right, let's go into another one. Let's, this time, let's just do a quick play. That was pretty cool, though, for a first, like, online match. Attention, troopers. Today marks the dawn of a new... Oh. Get back in the fight. Forward Vanguard units have already established a foothold on the planet Falaka. However, the Arachnids are building up for an assault. Troopers are going in with the next wave to defend what's rightfully ours. Then the mobile HQ. Okay. Uh, let's go with... Oh, this, oh, this game's crossplay too. That's kind of cool. Join Nightmare. Build the base. Sensors are indicating the wave has been exterminated. Repair the base in preparation for the next assault. Okay, so that's this thing. Ah, I see. So that's what I can place down. This is fire. Sensors are indicating the bugs are regrouping and sending out a new wave. Oh, 
sec. All right. Oh, jeez. Trying to get up there. Hello? Defeating. Check your ammo and make sure the base is repaired. Okay, so this one has waves to it. There's ten waves total. Bruce Wayne. Side. Repair this gate. What else can we repair here? Fire into the crowd. Oh, that's kind of cool. set. Anything need fixing here? You only have 10 seconds until the horde arrives. Get moving. Head 
Uh oh, they get more speed and attack rate. Oh god. Oh, run, run, buddy, run! <laughs> get out of there! I noticed some people going out there and uh, collecting stuff. I guess. Oh my god, that thing is huge. Oh, I don't like that. Would it, that just gave me like shivers for a second there. Like the legs. Ah, shivers. These waves go so so fast. Well, looks like that wave is dealt with troopers. Well done. Reload and rebuild for the I don't wish it was more like less waves, more uh more like longer waves. So five five waves and I don't know. Like another minute or two on the length. I need to be in repair mode. They probably made it like this though because of the durability of the weapons. Or, I mean the, the base. Unless if there's like a way to upgrade your like when you repair a base you give it more durability or something like that. It'd be interesting. There's so many of them now. What is this thing doing? It's all over the place. Oh God. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Holy. Okay, how do I revive? Revive. Okay. Oh, so you use this to heal allies. I see, I see. There's somebody down over there. Brimstone one. Sensors are indicating the wave has been exterminated. Repair the base in preparation for the next assault. Ouch. Loading for a We need a repair. How many more waves do we got? Hopefully not many. Move it, move it. Ten seconds till the bugs arrive. Troopers, a new horde wave is about to assault your position. Hold the line. Oh, mobile HQ offline. We were trying to put a sentry turret there. Rat wave eight of ten.
Oh, jeez. That's interesting. So you can put one right there and it doesn't, I guess the, uh, the door still goes through it. It doesn't stop it. Repair large gate. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think it was having an issue because now it's, it's fine over here. Wave nine of ten. But this makes me want to play squad. <laughs> this makes me want to play squad and uh, post script them or uh, let's see other one. War II version of Squad. It has Tell in the name. There's so many bodies. Oh. Am I getting hit? Am I getting hit by something? I'm trying to find my teammates because a lot of them are hurt. to get crazy. Uh, so I can take like multiple. obliterated that thing. <laughs> we 
Lamieren, lamieren. server lag or if it's something else or like what the case like what what's happening but a little bit yeah they're running in place right now i think we're lagging Phil's on its way. Alright, let's get out of here. Holy. Oh god, there's so many. Oh, okay. <laughs> Respawn is disabled too. Holy Brother I don't know how people are reviving me. Oh, oh no. Uh oh. Might be GG's there. Oh, they're coming out. Trying to revive. Being revived. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Witness liberation. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's so cool. All right, guys, come on, let's get on the ship before we lose anybody else. Everybody on. Let's go. Extraction complete. There it is. Another victory. Hey, I'm just happy we've gotten through. Wow, that was on veteran difficulty. Yeah, that, that definitely did seem like it had a bit of a uh, higher spike to <laughs> the difficulty there. Achieve victory on hard difficulty. Not too bad. We got it. All right. Well, so far, I mean, this game is pretty cool. Uh, it's interesting. Might jump into a few more matches, get some more recordings and all that. Again, thank you to the developers or publishers for providing me a, a key through key mailer. Uh, to check this out on 1.0 launch. It's, it looks like it's out on pretty much all the platforms. So, and there's crossplay. But yeah, that's going to be it for now. If you guys didn't end up enjoying this, again, leaving likes help a ton. Let me know in the comments if you do have any suggestions or just 
if you played it yourself, anything at all. Uh, but that's going to be it for now. So thank you for watching. Thanks for being here. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.